Right, Scooby-Doo. Go fish. I can, Waggy. Why not? I don't have a fishing pole. <laughs> Your next turn is five miles ahead. Watch out for the dips in the road, not including the ones in the back seat. <laughs> That's a joke. Pothole! Oh. Oh. Watch out! Your eyes on the road? I'm not sure about the Mystery Machine's new GPS, Fred. Where'd you get your license? From a hobo? I know. Isn't it awesome? This is the Magician's School? It looks like a castle. It is a castle. O'Flannery Manor originated in Ireland, where it was known for its mystical happenings. Back in the 19th century, its owner, Lord Seamus O'Flannery, had it transported to America, brick by brick. It says here that Seamus O'Flannery practiced dark magic. Oh. Pretty creepy, eh, Scoop? <laughs> Reepy. It gets reapier. When he passed on, Seamus had himself entombed in an island crypt on the nearby lake. Man, am I happy we forgot our swimsuits. The castle was auctioned recently and cost the magician a pretty penny to buy it. Turn left at the next pine tree. Ah, wake up, people! It is good of all of you to take me to the council meeting. Daniel was telling us that you know all about the Yaoi Yahoo legend, Mr. Illawarra. Please, call me Malcolm. I can tell you many things about the Yaoi Yahoo, young lady. But you may not like what you hear. Can you tell us what happened to Wildwind? Wildwind foolishly went up to Vampire Rock after dark. They were easy prey for the Yaoi Yahoo. Just like all the people attending the festival will be. So, like, what can we do to keep him and his rock star pals away? According to legend, the only thing that can destroy a vampire is sunlight. According to legends, Grandfather. It's believed they also fear the dingo. They could be your distant cousin, Scoob. Let's see if they'll help us out. <laughs> 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 Don't bother me, Scoob. You have to admit, Fabian, it's more than toy sales that's bothering your uncle. I know. It's the curse. <gasps> it's Vladimir Harstakor. Hey, who's he hearts it? What's it? I think it's time I told you about Vladimir Harstakor and the curse of the sinister snowman. He was a mean old man who watched with contempt as the city grew around him. He hated people and wanted only to be left alone. Then his worst nightmare happened. My uncle built the Menkel's toy store building with its beautiful Christmas glockenspiel right across the street. It drove him into a bitter madness. Legend has it that he became pure hate vanishing in a flurry of snow and bitterness to form a snowman with his sinister evil soul. It was 20 years ago today that he just vanished. That same night, the giant clock stopped, and it's never worked since. Now, Vladimir has returned. He's possessed my Uncle Haveros. It's the only answer. The curse of the sinister snowman will finally destroy our family's toy store. <laughs> I think I remember a case like this in 18th century Bavaria. May I use your computer? Well, of course. Bavaria. Werewolf. Oh, here it is. It was in Ingolstadt. A werewolf known as Hans collected certain gemstones and used them to increase his power. Normally, a werewolf only becomes a wolf at the full moon. But with the right combination of jewels, Hans was able to change from man to wolf at any time. He and the werewolves he created terrorized Ingolstadt for decades. Created? Yes. Anyone who is bitten by a werewolf and lives turns into a werewolf. Apparently, the Ingolstadt werewolves claimed hundreds of victims before being driven out by Maximilian III. Wow, you guys are lucky you didn't get bitten. Yeah, like we... <coughs> Everybody get back! He's turning into a werewolf! <coughs> Some friends! I need the Heimlich and you're reaching for the silver bullets! You get that? Silver bullets for werewolves, garlic for vampires, the Heimlich for Shaggy! Who are you people? How do you know so much about werewolves? 
We solve mysteries. It's kind of a hobby. Like definitely not man's best friend. Dad, what happened? I I don't know. His programming went haywire. Dr. Staples! Oh, please, excuse Dr. Staples? Dr. Staples? How do you explain Mecha Mutt running amok? Could it be the Space Spectre? Space Spectre? Like what's she talking about? There's a mysterious legend about an early manned mission years ago. After passing through a strange space mist on their way back to Earth, the astronauts lost control of their ship and Houston was at a loss to explain what happened. Legend has it the ghostly spirit came back in the ship's space capsule and has been haunting NASA ever since. Even today, when anything goes wrong, everyone blames it on the space specter. Hogwash. It's a completely bogus story and I will not dignify it by discussing it any further. Then how do you explain Mechamut's rampage? I, uh, I have to get back to you on that. Sir, Mechamut seems to have disappeared, but I have my men surrounding the complex. Dad, is there anything I can do? Not now, Melanie. The legend of the Black Saburai has been told for centuries. May I present Mr. Takagawa, most honored curator from the Tokyo Museum of Cultural History. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Takagawa. You'll have to excuse us. We don't really know much about Japanese folklore. But ghosts are kind of our specialty. Speak for yourself. My specialty is a triple-decker <laughs> Scooby snack and ice cream with chocolate sauce sandwich. <laughs> Mine too. Yum, yum, yum. The legend began hundreds of years ago when fierce warriors known as a samurai served the warlords of Japan with absolute loyalty. The most fearsome of all was a ronin, the samurai who had lost his master, set adrift like a wave on the open sea. One Ronin sought out the master sword maker, Masamune. The legendary master agreed to forge the samurai a sword of great mystical power. But it would take an entire year to complete the work. The master's evil-minded apprentice, Muramasa, offered to forge him another sword, but in only half the time. The samurai returned, and upon drawing the blade, felt a surge of uncontrollable dark power. The evil spirit of the apprentice had passed into the blade itself. It was a sword of hatred, a sword of darkness, a sword of doom! And in that moment was born the Black Samurai. <laughs> Finally, the master's blade was complete. He named it the Sword of Fate and entrusted its mystical power to a fearsome green dragon. Heaven and Earth trembled as the two great swords clashed. Until, using his sacred magic, the green dragon defeated the Black Samurai, imprisoning him forever within the Sword of Doom. <laughs> Centuries passed, and the story faded into legend. Wow, Mr. Takagawa, that's some story. Like story nothing, that sounds more like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> but what does all of this have to do with the Destiny Scroll? The Destiny Scroll holds the only clue to the secret location of the Sword of Doom in the form of an ancient riddle. If the ghost can solve the riddle of the scroll, he will reclaim the Sword of Doom and free his evil spirit. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm Mel Richmond. I own this building and I have a right to lurk in it. You must be from the show, right? Yeah, we're contestants. Right. Well, uh, good luck to you. You 
You make a cute couple. We're not a cute couple. I mean, we're not a couple, so we can't be a cute one. Although we would be if we were, which we're not. <laughs> I mean, it's not that we don't like each other. It's just we don't we don't like like each other. It's just not likely. <laughs> right, Fred? Or do we? We don't, right? Do we? I. Why are we talking about this so much? Can we just change the subject now, please? This is none of your business. Uh, Mr. Richmond, do you know anything about the Phantom? Gah, that business again. Look, that was all way before my time. I, I inherited this place a few years ago when my father passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, me too. It's costing me thousands of dollars a week. I can't do anything with it. People are still spooked by that phantom nonsense, and that was 35 years ago. What was 35 years ago? Uh, it happened back in the 70s. Before that, there had been some oddities, but, you, you know, nothing scary. But when my father turned the place into a disco, all heck broke loose. The Phantom wreaked havoc every night. People thought it was part of the show. Despite the Phantom, the club flourished. Customers looked forward to seeing it, even though it was said his mask hid a terrible deformity. <laughs> no one was ever really hurt. But then the Phantom became more destructive. He even set fires! In one night, he destroyed the disco ball. <laughs> After that, no one came back. Finally, my father had to close the place down. I haven't been able to rent it at all until the Talent Star people came around. Now they say the Phantom's back. Well, maybe I'll get lucky and he'll burn the place down so I can collect the insurance money, eh? <laughs> or, or, or maybe I should put on a cape and mask and do it myself. <laughs> yeah. What? Ah, uh, now don't look at me like that. You see, that's why I don't make jokes. Jinkies, Daphne. It must be exciting to visit Blake Castle, the ancient home of your Scottish ancestors. It sure is. And I can't wait to help my cousin Shannon host the Loch Ness Highland Games. Oh, I even accessorized for the occasion. Look, I'm planning to wear this for the opening ceremonies in honor of the Blakes of Loch Ness. Like it's not the Blakes of Loch Ness that I'm worried about. Are you by chance referring to the legend of the Loch Ness Monster? Monster? Yeah, and like, why are we going to some place that's already got a monster named after it? Makes no sense. Legend of the Lock? Get real. It's just another big fake. Right, Velma? I'm not so sure about that. Jeepers. You believe in the Loch Ness Monster, Velma? Like that makes three of us. Yeah. One, two, three. Well, I believe it's a mystery. This monster is different. There have been over 2,000 Loch Ness Monster sightings, dating all the way back to 540 A.D. That's almost 1,500 years ago. Zoinks! Like a monster that's been scaring people for more than 1,000 years? Don't worry, Shaggy. Loch Ness has miles of shoreline, and I bet Shannon knows a lot of good places to have a beach party. Beach party? Hear that, Scoob? We can have a clam bake with the Clan Blake. <laughs> yeah. Clam Lake. <laughs> huh? That's it, gang. Loch Ness, dead ahead. Like, did you have to say dead? Wow, Blake Castle. I've waited my whole life to see this. There's over 800 years of Blake family history within these walls. Ours is a rich history of falling through trap doors, finding dangerous secret passageways, and getting caught in overly complicated booby traps of our own design. The one thing we Blakes have been known for is being, how shall I put this, <laughs> danger prone. What? Mm, huh, Stunning what? architecture, oh, uh, love the no, gargoyle. No, no, nothing. Despite all these years of misfortune, no one at Blake Castle has ever had any trouble with the monster. Like, that's what I like to hear. That is, until now. Like zoinks. It actually began just a few nights ago. I was by myself down at the boat dock. All of a sudden, something very big and very fast came cruising into the cove. 
It disappeared below the surface, and I lost sight of it. When I fell asleep that night, I awoke to the strangest sound I'd ever heard in all my life. you two out of the armor. Like ever heard of Scotland the Brave? Well, meet Shaggy the Chicken. You must have noticed by now that our hotel is relatively empty. That's because a monster has been terrorizing Veracruz and the nearby villages. Right after I sent the email to you, the monster showed up near the plaza and nearly got Jorjito. Boom. I immediately emailed you again to warn you, but you must have already left. Did you say a monster? Yes, the locals call him El Chupacabra. I've read about him. He's Mexico's version of the Bigfoot. Bigfoot? That's right. I am not a superstitious man, but I saw it with my own eyes down by the wharf. I will never forget it. He stands nearly 10 feet tall and walks on two hind legs. He is covered with thick fur, has the face of a hideous monkey, with huge paws and sharp fangs, and his eyes glow green like those of a demon. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down, everybody. The chupacabra's only a myth. Yes, let's forget about El Chupacabra and make the most of your first visit to Mexico. Why don't we all get a good night's sleep, eh? <laughs>